Well, I mean, I, I thought that, I, that's pretty remarkable. I, I, I appreciate the way Dayton, he's a remarkable person, very few like him in sports or anywhere, anywhere else. Pretty unusual for someone in his position to, uh, to be here to, uh, you, know, you know, to kind of be in this in meetings. So I, I, I would just reiterate the gratitude that I feel that I have for Dayton, um, not only what he did for this franchise, but how he did it and the person that he is. Um, but today, I, you know, I, I think the bottom line here is that it's time for change. And, uh, and Dayton actually agrees with that. There's a very, you know, this has been a difficult decision. Um, Lots of conversations, but Dayton actually agrees and that this is an appropriate time for change. You know, J.J. Piccolo, who Dayton just talked about, uh, from my perspective, his career, his body of work, uh, his track record has totally prepared him for the challenges of this role. He, he was an architect of in player development of the first um, of that group that came up uh, and won the back-to-back -back pennants in, in 14 and 15 in the championship in 15. And he has been an architect of this and certainly been a big part of bringing this core, young core that we have you know, at the major leagues today. This job, from my perspective, is all about evaluating, selecting, and developing talent and getting the most out of that talent. And, you know, and selecting can come in the draft and can come via trade. It can come through free agency. You know, I think for a team like ours, free agency tends not to be uh, the path of choice, but it's to get that talent and to get the most out of that talent and to develop it in a way that it's either going to perform on the field here for us or it will be traded to others to, to bring back players that make the, that make the team stronger. Uh, he is very, very excited about this opportunity, certainly bittersweet for him, uh, having spent all this time, you know, with Dayton, but he's very excited for this opportunity. This is what his career has prepared him to do. Um, the objective of the team is no different. I think Dayton stated this is a results-oriented and performance-oriented business. The, the, the objective is to return to form, to compete for a championship on behalf of our great fans, to be playing meaningful baseball this time of year. And, and, to, and so our objective is to build a team that compete can compete uh, consistently and on a sustainable basis. Uh, there's a gap right now between where we are and where we expect to be, I, I, you know, I might talk about that in the context of uh, since we bought the team. You know, 2020 was a year that uh, we just talked about it a little bit. They're really stabilizing the business side of the house. Uh, we didn't, you know, we really didn't make any changes. Uh, we got through the 60 game. I, you know, I don't really have a lot to say about our performance in 2020. In 2021, you know, we did. We tried to make some investments by, you know, Mike Miner and Carlos Santana and getting uh, Andrew Benatendi, um, you know, Michael Taylor. We, you know, we knew we had a young core coming up, but we thought perhaps we could accelerate our development. Well, I, w I wouldn't say that that was uh, successful, or, but, what, but I felt like in 2021 we did make we did make progress. And uh, in 2022, you know, that's not how I feel. There's certainly some um, some bright spots. I, you know, love seeing the young, but I think in 2022, uh, we are, you know, we are not where we expect it to be. Um, you know, in in, in um, I am excited. Uh, it couldn't be more excited, frankly, to get this uh, change behind us. I think, and, and given uh, JJ the opportunity to, uh, so you know, new leadership. Um, I'm tremendously excited about 2023. I, I shouldn't say this, but we're not going to have a pandemic. I can't guarantee you that. Uh, and I and we're not going to have a work stoppage. I, I may have more influence over that, but um, my sense is that pitchers and catchers really will report in February. So couldn't be more excited. Uh, we got 14 games left, including six against Cleveland at the end of the year. So we're we're kind of winding things down. But as is, when this season's over, JJ and new leadership will be uh, ready to get to work. And from my perspective. Uh, I can't wait to get to surprise uh, in, in in next February. That that will be upon us uh, very quickly. In fact, you know why now? I mean, I've I've, I've been asked the question from the people. I've why now and why why not the end of the season? This timing. Uh, 
was really important to me, and I think it really it will be really important to JJ uh, to give him a head start. We got two weeks to go. In fact, it struck me today already seeing uh, schedules for the GM meetings and the winter meetings, and you know he'll have some he'll have some changes that he has to prepare to make at the end of the season. Um, you know, I think um, I think we're really here to talk about that, to talk about baseball. I would just tell you quickly from a, uh, you know, we continue to work on um, a process around a new stadium. You know, and that's that's a, you know, we've gotten a, uh, like the Chiefs, we have had an engineering study done out here to uh, tell us what it would be like to renovate here and modernize the stadium versus moving. But we're we're working hard on that, and that's part of a big. Uh, you know, a big picture process. Happy to take questions on that if appropriate, but but really want to uh, kind of come back to what we what we why we're here today, and that's to talk about baseball once again. Thank Dayton for all that he's done for this organization, and I and uh, can't wait to be in, to be a thought partner of JJ's and as we put new leadership in charge of our baseball operations.